Hi and welcome in my new tutorial about Java and JDBC API. In this new tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a table in your database from your Java application. I also started up my uh, MySQL workbench and my test database is here as you can see and there are no any tables in uh, that database. So let's start. Uh, for now I will also create a new package in my source folder called com and this. Okay, so we'll try to create a very simple table called person, which will have three columns: ID, first name, and last. Name. And uh, for that, I'll create a single Java Pojo class, and I'll call that class person. And I'll create three variables, private, uh, integer, id, private, string, first, first, name, private, string, last name. Okay, uh, now let's create, a, let's generate a default constructor, person, and let's create another constructor. Uh, person, basically uh, creating overloaded constructors. And this constructor will take like string, uh, first name, string, last name, and here I'm going to say this, first name equal first name, and this uh, last name equal last name. Okay, that's it. Now let's uh, generate getters and setters. Okay, and that's it when it comes to this class. Okay, let's close that and let's create another own package. And the name of that package will be com DAO. Okay, and in that package, let's create an interface called person DAO. Okay, and here I'm going to define a few abstract methods. First method I'm going to define will be create person table. Okay. Uh, second method will be insert, and parameter will be person uh, or import person person. Uh, next method will be uh, select by ID, and return type will be person select by ID. Okay, and parameter will be integer id. Uh, next abstract method will be uh, select all. Return type will be a list of person objects. And I'll import list from Java Ut. Select all. It won't take any arguments. Uh, next one will be delete. Return type will be void. Uh, delete by ID basically, and I'll say integer ID will be parameter. And last method will be update. Also, it won't return anything, it will be void. And the parameters will be person, person, and integer ID. That's it. Now let's create another package in our uh, source folder called com DAO INPL, which stands for uh, implementation of our DAO class uh, interface. And let's create a new package in that, uh, new class in that package. And the name of that class will be person DAO IMPL. Okay. And let's implement our person DAO interface. Person DAO. Yes. From. Okay. View. And let's add unimplemented methods. Let's add them all. So let's start in uh, our create person table method. I'll create a new connection variable. Con connection. Okay, and I'll assign value of no. And I'll also create another one, a variable called statement. Uh, statement equal 
no false. And I'll import statement from Java SQL, of course. Now I'll create my try catch finally statement. Exception E. Okay, and let's say print stack trace. And finally, let's just generate that. And here I'll try to retrieve my connection from uh, connection configuration class from get connection method. I'll say connection equals connection uh, configuration uh, get connection. Okay, that's it. And uh, let's say statement equals connection uh, dot let's call this create, create statement method. And uh, let's say statement dot execute. And here I'm going to pass my SQL uh, query as a string. And I'll say like this, create table if not exists. Uh, this is a good feature of my SQL uh, because you can always call this method, but your table inside of your test database will be created only once, okay? And I'll say table will be person. Uh, columns will be like ID, type will be integer, it will be primary key, uh, unique, and auto increment. Increment. Okay, comma. And the second column will be like first name, uh, type will be bar here, and length will be like 55. Uh, last name, that's last column, Vark here, 55, 2. Okay, that's it. Now let's uh, close statement and connection in our finally block. And I'll say like, uh, if connection is not equal to no, uh, connection close. And let's run this with uh, try catch. Good. And also, let's say, if, actually, I'll close statement before my connection. Okay, and I'll say, if statement is not equal to no. And I'll say, connect statement, close. Okay, let's run this with try catch. Good. That should be it. Now, let's jump in our app class and let's delete all this okay and let's instantiate our person dao impl class so dao impl and it will like pdi person dao impl okay and uh, let's call that method create which is uh, create person table Okay, that's it. Now let uh, let's run this. Okay, it worked. Now let's jump in our MySQL workbench to see whether our uh, table is uh, created successfully. Now let's refresh our test database. I'll refresh all, and as you can see, our person table has been created. So. That should be it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.